This is a walkthrough of Nakayubi's Escape Game Tea House. We're starting off in the courtyard as usual, and we'll do some exploring. We find a box with four knobs. Find a tray with a biscuit on it, with notches in the biscuit. We also find a teacup, an umbrella with nothing unusual. The gate has three letters, three different colors. Next to it, there is a wooden panel attached with screws, a box that looks like it needs a coin, another tray, the teacup has a pattern on it, and mochi balls, three different colors. Find a box that has three button combination, and on the bench we find a flower shaped disc. In front of the tea house, we find a lantern with a eight button combination. We also have a box with the buttons that resemble the mochi balls, so we'll use the colors of the mochi balls to open it up. Inside we find a key. We also find another tray with a biscuit with a different pattern of notches. In front we also see a white and black lantern in front of the tea house. So on the other side we see a yellow and black lantern. We also find a tea tray with another biscuit and another pattern and a box with four buttons. So see a standing lantern here with a three digit combination. The lantern itself, nothing yet. So in front of the tea house we see a flag that has three die on it and you could enter that combination on this lantern on the side. So one, five, and three. Inside we find where we could place the flower shaped disc. And that turns on the lantern, and we have a pattern. So we're going to note the order that the light comes on in each box. We'll note that for later. So we'll enter the house using the key we found earlier, and do some exploring. So on the side we see the characters that resembles the lanterns, the standing lanterns outside. On this box, we see the same colors as the lanterns hanging outside the tea house. We use that to open up the box and we find we see four flowers. We see the pink petals at different positions. So more exploring here, we see a box with five buttons. We see an abacus that we could duplicate the pattern on the teacup that was in the courtyard. And inside we find some cranes. So the cranes are facing different directions and we'll note the directions that they each are facing. Also behind here we have a screen with goldfish, different colors. This side of the room we find a screwdriver find a box with three buttons. So we'll use the matte shapes under each biscuit that we found in the courtyard to open up the box and we find three fortune cats. So it looks like we're missing some. Going back to the courtyard we could open up this box using the flower petals and noting the position of the pink flower petal. So inside we find a second flower shaped disc. We have the screwdriver to remove the panel. 
and inside it looks like partial letters. So we don't know how to decipher this yet. So we have what we need to open up this panel on the other standing lantern using the crane directions. And applying the flower ship shaped disc, we turn on this lantern and note the order of the lights. So using the order of the lights for each standing lantern, using uh, following the order that is indicated on top of this puzzle, And that releases the scroll that was hanging there. We find a rip in the scroll, so we'll open it up, and that reveals three characters. So we'll use those three characters on the red box on the table. And inside we'll find a fortune cat. So before going inside we're going to find another fortune cat inside this box using the screen that was inside the house. We'll note the position of the goldfish and match up to the buttons on the box. So we'll find a second fortune cat. We'll go inside the house and let them join their friends. So the position of their arms have changed. We'll use the position of their arms to get into this box over here. So in the box we find a coin. We'll use a coin to open up this box. Inside there's a piece of paper with three arrows. So we could use this piece of paper along with the panel that's beside the gate to figure out what letters we need to open the gate. So if we use the colors and the arrows we see a red D, a blue E, and a green F. D E F. That opens up the gate, and we're out. Congratulations!